So today I'm gonna take you through my two bags that I take with me everywhere. Now, I take these two bags with me to every station and every shift, whether it be a small shift, like a 24-hour shift, or something larger, like a 96-hour shift, which is what I've been doing lately. I know a 24-hour shift doesn't seem that long, but we normally do 48-hour shifts where I work because that's our just our full-time schedule is 48 hours on, 96 hours off. So these two bags have to last me everywhere on every shift. I work in a rural community sometimes. A lot of our stations are out pretty far east county. So there's not really a Albertsons or a grocery store around that we can just go pick things up at. So it's really important to always have what I want and what I need with me. I'm also pretty much a girly girl, so it's important I always have the things that I need whether I actually use them or not. Um, I'm one of those people that wants to always have what I need even if I don't use it, not, not, not have it when I need it, if that makes any sense. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the entire contents of my bag. I'll go through every little thing and then I'll show you the bag itself and where everything goes. So starting off with the small stuff, I have here just a regular pocket knife. I got this last time I was shooting at the range. It's just pretty simple black pocket knife to keep on me. This guy is just a little flashlight, very compact. Obviously I would never use it as a pen light because you can tell it's super bright but um, in case your phone dies or something, always good to have a flashlight on you. Pens and pencils, permanent marker, self-explanatory. Um, I love this brand of lip balm. This is Sun Balm. I use their sunscreen as well. This is SPF 30 in it and it's the mineral and then I just have the regular lip balm chapstick. They have great smelling flavors and I don't wanna say they taste good, but they're they're really nice, they're not too bad. So I really like that brand and I always keep these on me. Uh, I feel like my lips get dry a lot, especially when I work drier areas and climates and altitudes. So I like to have a different variety. Speaking of variety, I like to have a variety of, s not sunscreen, <laughs> hand sanitizer. I have a masculine scent here and a more feminine scent. A lot of guys actually like this one. They, they say it's pretty girly, but they love the scent and they're willing to admit it, so keep different ones on me. I'm kind of like the mom type. You need it, I have it, so why not have two of everything? These are my like reading glasses slash driving glasses. I honestly rarely wear them, only when I feel like I need to, especially in the dark and like rural areas, which I work in. Um, I got this case from Forever 21 a while ago, and I like the aesthetic because it's like I don't want to say tactical, but matches like my braided belt for work and stuff. And I got my glasses at the Unoptical in Hillcrest here in San Diego. Next, I have my sunglasses. These are the Blenders brand. They're based out of San Diego. I believe in Carlsbad. Um, they're polarized sunglasses. I forget the name of this um, style, but I like that they're polarized. I like that they're simple, basic like me. Um, just gets the job done. Next, I have my BBG. I actually got this off Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll link it in the description box. I like that it's analog and digital. It also has the day of the week and the date and then counts the seconds, which is perfect for what we do. It also has a light, but I don't really use it too much. Next, I have my protocol book from protocol book from this county. This is the Kelly shift, which I don't follow, but it's on the back because most agencies do. This is just a little notebook I got at Target, um, just something and jot things down pretty quickly. Um, if you need to like write a phone number down for a family member or something, nice to have. In here is my wallet. I have obviously my certs, my ID, money, things. And inside I have a smaller wallet that I like to bring just if I'm going into the store, I don't wanna bring my entire wallet. I wanna bring something that just fits in my pocket. There is a smaller wallet in there that I got at Forever 21, and that just fits like my bank card and my ID and stuff. Next is my iPad. I don't use it as much now that I have my computer, but I do like to have something bigger than my phone on me, so I carry it a lot, um, even though I don't use it too much anymore. 
I got it for my tuition with my school, <laughs> with my medic school, so I like to use it, but again, not as much since I got my computer. Next, I carry a bigger notebook, has school notes, has lots of random notes in it um, that I like to refer to a lot. Next, chargers. I label everything. We have some sticky fingers around here. <coughs> Excuse me, not because I'm going to assume because they like to steal, but everyone has iPhones. Our rig phones are iPhones, so things go missing, so I label the F out of everything I have. Next, just simple headphones. Um, I don't have AirPods or Beats or anything like that, so keep these on me. As you can see, just extra hair supplies in case you need them. iPro, I got these off Amazon in a pack of 12. I want to say for $12, something like that. It's a variety of colors. I don't like the iPro that my work provides just because they're super bulky and they feel weird on my face. I genuinely don't like wearing anything on my face to begin with. It took me a long time to even wear sunglasses. But um, if I have to wear iPro, especially on a nasty call, I will use these guys. So my best friend gave this to me. It's just a little prayer book. I don't say it to patients or anything like that, but sometimes with our rough calls, I like to have this on me and just kind of refer to it uh, when need be. Next, I get gnarly migraines and I also get those time of the month cramps. Just any type of pain you can imagine, this guy does a trick for me. Um, it does have caffeine in it with for me, I like it, but some people don't like it, so I have my little mommy bag. Although I'm not a mom, I am the prepared mother of uh, my coworkers. So I have Advil, so it's an Anzid without caffeine in it, um, if it's at nighttime. Band-Aids of different sizes, extra hair ties, sunscreen for your face, just kind of whatever you need. Again, whatever you need, feminine care products, that's from Target. I really like that brand, All Natural. Um, and then emergency. So some of my coworkers have kids and their kids get sick a lot. So they get sick a lot. So I've been drinking a lot of this before bed at night and um, I'm pretty happy I keep it on me and my partner keeps it on him as too. So coming down here, with as much as we wash our hands and use hand sanitizer with all the alcohol in it, our hands get super dry then sometimes just the climate itself can make our hands super dry so I like to carry some sort of lotion whether it's this hand gel cream or just an all-over lotion to hydrate like a vino or something um, I pretty much always have on me I like this one I use this face wash from Neutrogena with the hyaluronic acid and the hand cream smells good and it's been pretty good on my hands I should be using it more because my hands are pretty dry right now, but I haven't been. Next, I have some perfume. I pretty much always carry perfume. You never know when you're going to need it. That's pretty much the theme of this tire thing is you never know, so don't be unprepared. Um, I really like this one because it smells kind of like a fresh shower. You just feel the scent itself is pretty nostalgic for just feeling like it says fresh and clean, so I, I like that a lot. Um, always keep deodorant. You never know. That's all I pretty much have to say about that. I like this one because it's strong and it smells good. I've used men's deodorant since high school when my athlete friends, they said they used men's deodorant and it worked 10 times better and I tried it and never went back. I always keep gum on me. I usually keep this one in the rig next to the steering wheel so on the way to calls I can throw some in my mouth and make it smell better, <laughs> less like coffee. And this I just keep in my bag if I'm in the back and want to grab some gum real quick. Next, snacks. Always keep snacks on you. You never know when you're not going to be able to go to the radio room at the hospital or I should say EMS room at the hospital or get something at 7-Eleven. So, snacks. Next, um... Going back to the, I always like to have things smell good. It's either between something like this, which is me feminine or masculine, or something like this, which is super feminine. Just something to make the area smell better, especially after a pretty nasty call and you just have all those smells in the air. It's really nice to be able to spray something and it, it kind of goes away. So 
just always have something like this on me. Always have sunscreen. Um, I like to use the spray kind on my arms, but this is what I keep in my bag. So I'll use this my face, my chest, my arms, my hands, whatever's in contact with the sun that my uniform doesn't cover. Next is stickers. Kids go ape over stickers. I have fire trucks. There's cop cars down here, ambulances, helicopters, cars, superheroes. Doc McStuffins is in here. Just a lot of, and girl superheroes too. A lot of random stuff, but um, sometimes it fixes a problem. Sometimes it doesn't, but I like to make kids happier and just brighten up their day with some, some silly little stickers. Last but not least is my Hydro Flask. So this is a 64 ounce from Hydro Flask, obviously. I wanted a Warrior Flask, but they didn't carry it in white and I really wanted white, so I went with the Hydro Flask. If they come out with pink or white, then I'll probably get a Warrior Flask. Um, this is Zamora in Old English. It's actually a car sticker, but I got it for my water bottle. And I got it off Amazon. I'll try and link it in the description box. And then this is the the whole reason I got a new Hydro Flask was that I could use a straw um, so that when I'm driving I'm not spilling all over myself. And then on the back, it has the, the lat long coordinates for San Diego for downtown and a dopamine sticker. So that's all the contents of my bag and I'll go ahead and show you the 511 Rush 12 bag and how I fit it all in there. So this is the 511 Rush 12 backpack. I got it a few years ago when I had my uniform allowance and I got to upgrade. I chose this backpack. They only offered it in blue, navy blue or black, but I took it into the 511 store and they let me exchange the same backpack for this color, which I prefer. I wanted to be able to look at it and know that it was mine since everybody else only had uh, one or two colors. So. I also got these stickers, or sorry, I had got, got these patches off of Amazon. This one, because it's pretty San Diego. And then this one, just my name identifier. I also got this little guy from when we did some training with Reach Air, and it's a cute little pink pin, so of course I had to pin it on there. It's got some good straps. You can hang carabiners on here, whatever you need to hang. It's got the little logo. Um, every compartment has different pockets, which I showed you guys all the contents already. Um, tons of pockets. It's got a good durable handle, some good durable straps. You can take these and use them if you're hiking. It's also got this guy for headphones if you want to use it. Um, so it's a pretty good pretty good deal. I saw it retailing on the site and online for anywhere from 100 for the basic colors to 150 for the camo color. So it is a lot, but it is definitely worth it. Um, like I said, it's lasted me a couple years and across, across the world to a different continent. So I would definitely call it a, a good one. So for my duffel bag, I pretty much already went over all the same products as you can see a majority of repeats from my backpack. The only difference is I have my makeup, I have clothes, I have a lot more clothes than that. I just wanted to show you an example. I don't want to show you my agency or anything like that, so I just kept it at a bare minimum. I always keep shorts in my duffel bag that I wear under my duty uniform because I find that to be more comfortable. And in case you rip your pants, you want to have shorts on. Um, I have micellar water, I have witch hazel, all the same skincare products except some moisturizers for after the shower or at nighttime, some lip scrub. And then I always take a B12 complex or a vitamin B complex to start my day. It gives me a lot more energy and antihistamine because I get pretty bad seasonal allergies. These are just vitamins in case I need a little pick me up. I have a history of anemia. So if I can tell the signs and symptoms are coming on, I will take some iron supplements to get myself back back on track. And everything else is pretty much the same. Hair care products, makeup, um, makeup wipes, toothbrush and toothpaste. I picked this up because it was a nice little travel pack. I know it's a child's case, but it is an adult toothbrush and an adult um, 
hydrogen peroxide paste. So that's it, and then I'll go ahead and show you my duffel. So this is my duffel bag. I got it off Amazon, like I pretty much get everything off Amazon. I replaced my last duffel bag, which again, I got off Amazon. It has three compartments. It has the main compartment and two side compartments with a pocket in one of them. In here, I just keep my skincare products. I have my toothpaste and toothpaste bag inside this little pocket and keep deodorant and everything compact on this side. So I call this my skincare side. We go over here and I have my um, hair care side and then I keep my vitamins and supplements in this side. These are not all the supplements I use. If I use pre-workout or protein, obviously that's kept in a cooler um, and then at station, but this is just on the go. And then in here I keep my clothes. Usually it's a pretty large stack about that size. I use these for my witch hazel. Um, everything pretty much fits in here pretty well. So I've always used a duffel bag about this size and even for being extra and having all these other things, it definitely works out pretty well. Okay, so that concludes this video on what I keep in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos like this one. Please let me know what you guys keep in your work bags in the comments down below. See you guys later.